eyes open in a snap. Dali kong nakabangon, samtang nagkukod sa kong ginhawa. It was that dream again. The loud screams, the heavy pouring rain, the sunset, the cold breeze, the bikes by the sea, the subtle laughter, the ear-splitting siren, and then, darkness. Those glitches that even I cannot confirm if they are real or just my hallucinations. I sighed while gripping on the edge of my bed. Kusog ang kulpa sa kundughan. The white wall around me didn't do anything on my end. Bisan ang kahilom sa palibot. Walay nabuhat. Aron pugnan ang nagkuro kong makamot. It's not every day that I experience like this. Only if I forgot something very important. Again. Yes. Sakto imuna dungo. I am a person living with a terrigrade amnesia. According to my doctor, people who are suffering from this illness can experience difficulty in making new memories. And that, maybe, was true. I only have a 24 hour memory span, but I can remember. I remember things that are either routinary or long term memories like my childhood memories, or things I usually do with my family or other people close to me. Sa Bisaya pa, makinumdum na ko sa akong mga kaagi pagbata, or kana mga putang akong balik balikon pagbuhat, or kana akong buhaton ko yung akong pamilya. The rest, it will just slip off my mind so easily. Siguro, moingon mo nga, nindot kay akong kinabuhi because I can easily forget the things that are traumatic and painful. Things which most people would love to forget. Pero, imagine mo sa kahawang sa pagmata na ako sa buntag. That very hollow feeling, yet heavy enough to drag my shoulders down. I cannot recall kung anong na ako ni Sakita. Although, my mother would constantly tell me that I got into a serious accident before. The reason why I had to undergo an operation. Pero ang sakit lang, eh wala ko'y idea kung unsa tong klase sa aksidente. Even the day when it happened, it totally vanished from my memory. I'm now in the middle of believing on unbelievable truths and keeping my faith in my guts. Maybe because my desperation has already reached the point that is already excruciating. And now, this, these glitches made everything even worse. Living with this illness is like living a cursed life. Ganahan ko nga usa ka adlaw, umata ko nga sakto ang panimuot, ug dili na ko magpangita pa og tubag sa akong mga pangutana. Pero unsaon, I already pushed myself, but still, walay effect. Usahay, iyud na ko kapugnan nga makatulog na lagkalit akong luha, samtang maguna-huna sa akong sitwasyon. Masuya ko sa mga tao nga adunay normal nga kinabuhi. Normal, meaning dilip pa rin ako pangutok o naisaktong memorya. My eyes involuntarily closed and tears eventually started to fall. Sakit ang sitwasyon. Sakit palang dumun na ako mismo wala kaibaw sa hinungdan sa tanan. Kung pwede lang, tadun sa mga panghupaw ang kahawang sa sulod. Siguro, 
dugay na ako ng gibuhat. And then, while on my bed, with the sweat dripping all over my body, I examined the entire room and I immediately stopped at the scene in front of me. Nakabantay ko nga, murag na ay sayo, na ay kuwang, na ay nausap. Oh, okay, Bob. My closet was open. Inside were just few of my clothes. On the floor were two luggage that were thoroughly sealed. But deep within, I know that something's really off. Ipadayo na ko ang pag-anino sa palibot. The door, the drapes, the bedsheet, the pillows, and... Wait, ganun ako'y suot nga bracelet sa kong tuong kamot. It is a knitted brown bracelet with a star-shaped shell on it. Did I buy this thing? Or did someone give this to me? Wait, my phone! Where's my phone? My journal! Yes! My journal! Maybe I have written something in my journal about this bracelet, which might explain the mystery behind this. So, I quickly jump off my bed and harshly pull the drawers in my bedside table, where I usually put my journal. My hands were shaking as I pulled the first drawer. First drawer, empty. Second, empty. Third, still empty. May sud ang tulo ka hunus. Dili pwedeng mawala ang akong cellphone ug ako ang journal. My journal is like my external hard drive. My savior. Everything I do were written on that notebook. I cannot afford to lose it. Wait. Basin ug naa lang sa suod sa cabinet or na ilom sa igdaanan or na ani mama. So I rushed towards the door, and when I was about to open it, I heard someone knocking from the other side. So I fixed myself and tried my best to hide my uneasiness in all resource. Dili pwede makitaan di kung si kinsa man ang naasa likod niya na pultahan ang akong pagkabutang. I sat on the edge of the bed, something naghuwat sa pagsulod sa tao. I crossed my arms. This will somehow prevent the shaking to show. The knob twisted slowly until the door opened wide. A woman in her late twenties casually entered my room, even without my permission. I am just staring straight to her puzzled eyes. I did not utter even a single word. Di man inoon makaintimidate yung mga liho, pero Murag na wag tangan ko kusog Nga ultimo pagstorya nga to niya Dili na ko mahimo The staring game lasted for seconds And then minutes Ang tod nga Ako na lang ang nipiling ni buhi Sa mong pagtinutukay And then she spoke What's happening Fidel? I bowed down And once more released a deep sigh Fidel! Balik niya sang pizza kung alan. She knew. She knew that something was wrong. Fidel, tell me. Biling to just akong tupad. Ug iyang gihapuha pang ako nga baga. I need to know. Matut pa niya. Samtang iyang usang kamot. Nagunit sa kung tuong palad. I cleared my throat. Yes. She needed to know everything about what's happening to me. Mauna ay sige paghimagno ni mama sa ako ah. I must not lie to my nurse. She must know everything. So I composed myself and said, I was dreaming about it again. My voice was soft and weak and fragile. Nabati na ko ang iyang matagapuhap sa kong luyo. The caress was relaxing, and it composed me a bit more. 
Can you please describe to me your dream? She asked. Mibuhi ko usa ka lom nga hangin. Ug unya mitoy hakaw. There's sunset, waves, seashore, heavy rain. Mihunong ko kadali. I wanted to make sure that I was able to tell her everything I saw in that dream. Loud siren and then I wasn't able to finish my line when she butt in. Fidel. She plastered a startled face after hearing my recounts. You remembered, she added. Remembered what? My voice elevated as I turned my face to her. Nikunot akong agtang something naghuwat kong abuhian ni ang iyang tubag sa akong pangutana. The trip. Her answer was short, yet it intensified my confusion. We had a trip. Hinera siyang mitanglo, kuman ako masulti ang akong pangutana. Yes, we went to Amanpulo, she said. I paused. Now, that explains the luggage in the floor. And... I was not able to continue when she spoke. The sunset, the waves, the seashore, those were not in your previous dreams, Fidel. They were your memories of Amanpulo. Her face lightened and her eyes went teary. I halted and did not reply. Wakukibaw kung unsang akong itubag. I even don't know how to process it. Naglibog ko kung dapat pa ko mga malipay based sa inyong pangsulti? Was it a good thing? I don't know. So I ask, Are you the one who gave me this bracelet? Ako siyang itutukan something nagbunit sa pulsiras. But she shook her head. So, I bought this bracelet. I asked again. She once more shook her head. So my eyebrows furrowed with confusion all over my face. But she smiled and gently pressed my palms and said, It was Paul who gave you that bracelet. Nisamot ang kunot sa kong agtang. Pagkadungog na ko sa maong pangan. Did I hear it correctly? A stranger gave this weird stuff to me and I accepted it? Wait, who's Paul? Is Paul really a stranger? So I immediately turned to her and clamped my hands on her arms. I know it was tight. But my fingers were fidgety, and then, with full aghast, I asked, "Kinsa si Paul?" But she did not answer. I know my grip was paining her, but her eyes didn't show it. Instead, I saw something. I've never seen in someone's eyes for a long time. Not until today. I saw joy. Hangi mong pagbiya. Mapugnan ko ka ha. Sa dili ka pa mawala. Muling ikaunta Hatagit pa hiyong Ang tamis nga higayong Mauuntay pa sa lig nga Magkita rapuhon Kung mahibalik ka sa akong kiliran Gunitan ka Di libuhian ang kalipay nga Naghatag bulo
ลูกชา